Welcome to the Full Nelson. Today I'm going to be reviewing this 12-piece set of Milwaukee screwdrivers. There was not a lot of information on the internet about this set of screwdrivers, and so I decided I'd make a quick video about it for anybody who might be interested. If you're interested in what sizes are included in this set, you can pause the video and look over the sizes here, and also the types of screwdrivers that are included. Anyway, so let's open this up and take a look, and I'll tell you what I think about it compared to some of the other sets of screwdrivers that I have. Now, the only reason I bought this set of screwdrivers is because I got them for a pretty reasonable price. I am generally a fan of full tang screwdrivers that have a striking cap on the back, like this Wea screwdriver here. And Milwaukee makes a few smaller sets of what they call, I think, demolition screwdrivers and stuff like that, but they don't make any larger sets of those, at least not that I've seen. And, and you know, at the price that they'd probably be asking for those, considering what they asked for these, I'm not totally sure if I would be pursuing those or not. But anyway, so let's look at these screwdrivers here. We'll start with the handle. handle has a hole in it. As I mentioned, they are not full tang, so there's no striking cap or anything like that on there, so they're probably not designed to really be used to hammered on a whole lot. Although most screwdrivers like this, nylon handles, I've still done a fair amount of that with and not had a problem with a variety of manufacturers, as long as you're not getting carried away. If you're going to be doing real hard use stuff, then you probably want to be using something like one of these that all have striking caps on them. This is a Vessel brand, a Wera brand, and a Wea brand. Now I do not use the striking caps really on uh, any Phillips head screwdrivers. That's primarily used for the flat bladed screwdrivers. Although I will say if you have a fastener that has been damaged, a Phillips head screwdriver, you can actually take one of these and smack, smack it on the back with a hammer to drive this into the fastener to get a better purchase in the event that the fastener has already partially rounded or been damaged. So there is some application for the striking cap even with Phillips, although it's rare. I don't usually use them that way. So the handle on these, they have a hole drilled in them for a lanyard, I guess, if you want that. That is something I'd never make use of. Um, it's trilobe design, meaning it's got this kind of triangular shape, and it has um, rubber texture and the black spots, and then this is just your nylon injected, injected handle or whatever this material is here, this plastic handle. Now, the rubber on these, the more that I kind of rough them up or rub them with my hands, the tackier they become, but when I initially got these, this rubber portion was actually much slicker than what I expected. And I was not a huge fan of that when compared to like this vessel screwdriver, which has rubber on it as well. And then this Wea brand, which the rubber is really quite tacky on this. Um, the Milwaukee's were a little bit slicker in comparison to that. Now, I don't really think that's going to hold you up too much in terms of the purchase that you're able to get on these because the handle design of this triangular shape, that trilobe design that they talk about, allows you to put your hand in that in a way that you don't have to necessarily rely on the just the sheer friction of the rubber to, to get a good purchase to turn your fastener. The shape of the screwdriver is really conducive to being able to get a good purchase to turn to, to be able to turn a fastener. Whereas, for example, this Wea brand kind of has more of a rounded shape. There are some flat spots on it a little bit. But if this were slick or the same texture as the Milwaukee, I think you'd really struggle to get a good purchase. Instead, it relies on this rubber texture, and that rubber is tacky enough that it allows you to really get a good purchase and put some heat on, your, on a fastener if you need to. Now... The shank on these screwdrivers, um, the larger screwdrivers have a hexagonal shank so that if you need to, you can use a wrench and apply pressure to the back of the screwdriver and use a wrench or pliers or anything like that to help you get more leverage to, to turn the screwdriver. So I like that feature, and there's you know some other screwdrivers that also incorporate that design. Um, just for reference, Wera does that. 
both up here closer to the handle. They've got a larger hexagonal section and then right here on the shank itself. And then the Wea brand also has that same design up here by the handle and then the shank itself can also have a screwdriver. Um, it's not a screwdriver, sorry, a wrench placed on it in order to give you some more leverage. Now, as far as the tips themselves, they seem like they're well built. I have not had the opportunity to use these for any hard use. In fact, most of these screwdrivers I have don't see particularly hard use. Um, on occasion, I'll take the largest flat blade screwdriver that I have and use that as a chisel like almost everybody does, but outside of that, I usually don't abuse my screwdrivers much, but they do get used a lot. Um, I would say I probably use screwdrivers out of my toolbox daily for one task or another, tinkering and, and working on different projects and things that I'll pull them out and be using them for things. Now, as far as the rest of this set, you can see the handles progressively get smaller depending on the size of your screwdriver. These smaller precision screwdrivers with the large handle, which I actually quite like. A lot of the time you'll get a precision screwdriver that's got these little teeny handles that you can't really get a good purchase or put a lot of pressure on your fastener. And so I find with that that if you have a stubborn fastener that's the size of what these precision screwdrivers are designed for, that it's very easy to slip off the fastener, strip out the fastener. So I like what they're doing here by having a larger handle with this very fine precision screwdriver. Um, these obviously do not have a hexagonal shank, just the sheer size of them. That's not necessary for any fastener. You'd return them with these. And so I like the precision screwdrivers they include. As far as quantities of how many flat blade and all that kind of stuff, you'll have to refer to the beginning of the video because I'm not going to go through and count all of that for you. Right here, you can just look at the tag that I showed you on the box to show how many different sizes, but there's a good variety of of sizes in terms of flat blade Phillips. And then I think they have, is it just the one posi drive that I saw in here, which is this one here. Oh, another thing I failed to mention on the handles of these, which you'll find in some other videos, but they're marked so that if you put these in a toolbox, like my tool cart that I have, or several tool carts that I have, when you put these in the tool cart, you can see if they're in a vertical position instead of horizontal position like this and you take them out of the case you can tell what type of screwdriver it is by looking at the top. I really like that feature. There's lots of companies that don't have any markings that way on the back of them. For example this Wea brand if you stick these in this way you know in a, in a vertical position in your tool cart especially with the striking pommel on here there's no way to tell if you're grabbing a Phillips or a flat blade Usually in order for me to keep that straight, I put all my Phillips on one side of my tool cart and all my flat bladed screwdrivers on the other side in the screwdriver holders. And that makes it to where I don't get them mixed up. I know which side you know, has Phillips and which side has flat bladed. But um, I think that's a, a great idea to just mark them just like what they've got here. Now, obviously if you did that with one of these full tang that's designed to be struck and maybe the wheel ones that aren't designed to that aren't full tang maybe they have those markings but these ones don't um, you would have to engrave that into the metal somehow so that when it's struck it doesn't you know just wear off or something like that like it might on something like this so obviously there's going to be some design differences just with the way these screwdrivers um, are intended to be used so overall, do I think that they're worth the price? Um, my personal opinion is 90 to to $100 for a 12-piece set. I, I think they're decent screwdrivers. You can get some smaller sets, I think like an 8-piece or a 12-piece of these Vessel brand screwdrivers. And overall, in my opinion, the handles on these and then being full tang, full tang or the shank going all the way through the handle, all that kind of stuff. I, I like these a little bit better probably for the money. The Wearer brand ones that I bought, I think you can get like a 12 or 15 piece set. I can't remember how many it is. I've got them sitting on the floor here. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think it's a 12 piece set of these Wera brand, 12 or 13 piece set for about the same money as, as these Milwaukee's. I think around $100 or, or so with the striking uh, striking caps on, on them. 
I think these are probably going to be a better value for money, in my opinion, if you're already spending close to what these cost. Now, if you can get these on sale, like I did, for $42, $45, or maybe up to the $60 price range, $65, $70 price range, I think they'd be a really good purchase at that price. But if you're going to be spending the $90 to $100 that they would usually cost, I think there's probably better options out there. Now, I will give one caveat to that that piece of advice, which is I have not looked at the prices on some of these other screwdrivers recently, and I know that a lot of the tools that I purchased even just a year or two ago have gone up a fair amount due to inflation or shortages or whatever the case may be. And so that may change the equation a little bit. For example, at the time I bought these, if they were $100 and today they're $130, 140 and you can buy these for 80 then these are probably worth the money at $80. So anyway, overall, that's that ought to give you an idea what you're getting if you decide to buy this 12-piece set of Milwaukee screwdrivers. If you guys have any questions or comments or any experiences of your own with Milwaukee screwdrivers that you could share with other people who might be in the market looking for something like this, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.